All right, well, I've been working on Statomic version 3, and one of the big things we're doing in that, among other things, is upgrading from Vue.js 1 to 2, which is kind of a big deal because the whole data flow direction is much different. And uh, one of the things we're doing is replacing this, uh, this table sorting component, which is actually pretty, uh, I guess I would say complicated. It, it's responsible for a lot of different things under the hood. So it does sorting and it has, you know, these uh, actions you can inject. You can just jam a whole uh, object full of information and it kind of parses out the columns and the checkbox stuff and the statuses and has certain rules for, for the different fields. Uh, like in, in Vue.js 1, you didn't have slots so in order to put these actions in we had these not really dynamic partials where we called it an action and then you would basically use we call this dossier uh this component is called dossier we would you could like dynamically like wrap the component and set this partial cell which would let you change the markup and it's just like this whole thing just got super messy I mean, it worked, it works great, um, but it, it's really hard to change, right? And so when something's hard to change, it's uh, <laughs> you get really frustrated with it because you sometimes need your product to grow. So i uh, been rebuilding this in Vue.js 2 as uh, a functional, not functional, sorry, a renderless wrapper component um, with composable child components. And I mean, it. I'm not done on the UI and don't worry about anything else you see here, but we have pretty much the same functionality recreated here with a few extras. So we can have like these dynamic columns um, and we have the actions here and we have search filter, uh, except it's way, way cleaner under the hood. And so it looks like this. So you start with, uh, let's see, I'm in entry, what was it, collection show. We start with this entry list component, which is just a really light wrapper that can map some props, like uh, setting endpoints and passing some initial data in. This will all be di dynamic. We're still kind of prototyping here. Um, so that passes it into the entry, well, we have the entry list where we pass the initial data into uh, the data list. And the data list, is renderless, so there is no template. We just pass uh, the default slot scope back. And this is kind of responsible for maintaining the shared state object, which the child components have access to uh, because we're providing that. And then there's just a couple other simple things like com some computed uh, properties and a watcher to make sure that updates and we have the filtering. Basically, we want people to be able to write these list wrappers without having to worry about how all of the logic works. So uh, here um, you can see there's a couple of key elements. There's this uh, header, which has the toggler, the search, the bulk actions, the column picker. If we didn't want to customize the columns and you didn't have bulk actions, you could just strip these out. And then uh, after a recompile, you'd basically have now just a big search bar and that would still work. And now checking these boxes doesn't do anything. Um, so you could come down and turn the bulk actions off and that would get rid of the check boxes and so on. So you can kind of just sort of compose your behavior out of these columns. Or if you wanted to, like you could take, uh, you know, like the bulk actions and move them down like underneath the table like here, maybe you want, let's say, add a little padding, wait for the compile. And when you check stuff, now they're down here, right? And so we're just moving this markup around. And if you wanna, you know, maybe you don't have a publish and unpublish, you have like a, you know, push to git sort of thing and you have another handler. Now you can just wire that up in your kind of opinionated wrapper component but not have to redo any of this logic, right? Um, so if I put this stuff back, you can see this, this wrapper column really doesn't know a whole lot, right? It just has some props and then it has, you know, the specific 
actions and endpoints that this um, component has to deal with. And so we have some slots right in the, in the table here. Um, these uh, actions are no longer this messy sort of overrided, overridden variable where we're writing uh, templates in a variable. But now it's a really nice template slot uh, where you can even pass in these other smaller composed components. Um, or I can override, uh, you know, the default state is to have this little twirl down, but we could set, um, you know, button uh, and just give it the slot of trigger. Click me and you know, now we can inject, you know, a different handler in here. So this is this is the pattern we've been trying to go for to have as little wiring as possible with maximum uh, results, right? And so it's not quite perfect. I think there's probably a few little things like I don't think we actually need to uh, hang on to some of this data state, but that's what we've been working on. Well, one of the many things we've been working on. <laughs>